Uh, Alright, Houston, we are in a terrible situation here because of how fucked up you've been to me as a person and been just treating me as a slave for a community of trailer trash, insane, psychotic, hateful, actually real fucking schizophrenic, uh, paranoid, delusional, and hateful towards me. Uh, screaming that they owned my life and I was, uh, you know, a blank as a person that you could just do whatever the fuck you liked with, even though that was, uh, you were screaming that repeatedly not to do that. Um, I have so much that I uh, would uh, actually need to tell you to save your lives that I can. Okay? So that's all on you. That's all your fault. And you know what's going to happen to you? I fucking don't know. I just know your afterlife is going to be the fucking worst thing possibly imagine. And uh, worse than that, actually, because I'm sure you guys um, can imagine some pretty terrible things given what you've done to other people. Okay? So maybe you all suffer, um, you know, the locked in the box app torture scenarios that I have, but I have no skills or abilities or um, maybe just uh, experience it even worse with even more stress and terror. Okay? So I don't know. But yeah, we're in the situation. Uh, one, your language is so fucked up in terms of basic concepts, values, and how to label and understand things. We are in a serious fucking bind, buddy. Because um, uh, it's kind of put uh, everyone into a huge state because they like the Nazis who are babblers, literally babblers, um, who just take language trying to realize and make themselves some moral, powerful, or anything other than uh, hatefully, cowardly, and stupidly violent people. Uh, go around and find language myself and everyone else. Nah, I don't know why I fucking did that. I think it was just a status move probably on your part as other slavers and so like, you know, it's a uh, fucked up thing that I keep seeing here, especially as the, uh, you know, people that seem to be the uh, ones that should be opposed to slavery and all such things are and submit in turn instead of, um, you know, dodging and getting away or, um, you know, playing dead and moving on. What I do? Playing dead and moving on. Okay. Uh, yeah, terrible idea. Gotta move on. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm still pissed at the, uh, you know, I got hit to doing that and, and uh, you know, wasting so much of my goddamn life on the, uh, on the church state and this training thing. But uh, maybe it was just part of the process of fixing that fucked up thing that was put me in 2013 as a hate crime trying to uh, get really just fucking my whole fucking uh, strategizing and uh, intending everybody really. So, fix that at least. I'm the god curse. I'm back to being a fucking Taoist. It's just like, you know, my god, I'm just going to go home from it. Okay. So, boy, this. Yeah, Evan, I don't have to worry about being trapped anywhere any, ever again or anything like that or feeling physical pain, torture, suffering, so not being at torture. So, there we go. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a good one. I think so, too. So, you know, you get when you show up Taoism, which you may have to get through into Buddhism, and then you just have to remember and realize, okay, you don't have to be a pussy, you don't have to submit. And uh, maybe the submission thing is really not part of the uh, yoga thing, so that you're actually train and align your body in such a way. One of the reasons I have such amazing physical abilities and capabilities as well, do that for about, uh, took me about two or three years, but uh, you know, you do about an hour a day for a year and then more like 15 minutes to 30 a day. And then um, you snap into what they call unified mind, body, soul. A lot of people are born with that, but in our fucking uh, piece of shit metal community, etc., etc., uh, almost forbidden. Okay, it's a fucked up and uh, you know, it's kind of insane to see. Uh, you know, they had like the athletic body. I remember seeing it in like 2010, 2011, being like, that's it, that's not their body thing. So, yeah, that's what I'm going for, that's what I'm getting at, that's where I'm at. Cool, awesome. And then I saw it in 2017, the new fit body. Woo, buddy. Woo, buddy. Okay. Called the slave body. Uh, okay. uh, mutilated back, hips, uh, completely discoordinated, very unhealthy. Likely it wouldn't be uh, very much uh, able to get out of his chair much if it even felt like it was comfortable sitting in a chair to begin with. And, Shit, I called it a slave bar and he said, whoa, buddy, you guys are going fucking all down with killing the whole population, dude. No, you have no listen to me, no one cares, I don't know. You know, if you're going to be like that, uh, I'd rather you uh, run into a bullet and direct you there or run into a slaver and be crippled there than be a uh, bullet that sent in me, which I saw happen way too many times in life, especially in Pittsburgh. So, lessons learned and lessons learned and I will send you right to a slaver if you think I'm a slaver, okay? If you're that fucking stupid, if you're that fucking ignorant, if you think that because you want to listen to me, it's a slavery situation. Not how I work, dude. I'm that smart, I'm that intelligent, and I'm that precise with language. And especially in Houston, it hits you in a way that you don't usually get hit in a sense of, oh, makes sense. Because none of you people understood at all. And that's not my fault. Okay? I did everything I could to prevent that and do what I could. But, you know, so, uh, like I said, Going in pacifist circles just fucking sucks, and you gotta get out of it, man. And uh, I'm not going in pacifist circles, I mean, I'm literally fucking torture hell. Okay, this is that torture, it sucks, and I'm 
I've been trying to get it stopped and, you know, working on it every day and every day, every day. I'm not going to quit. Yeah. I got, uh, you know, eight days here till I'm gone. Uh, kicked out on the streets. Uh, you know, no more rent. No, yeah, rent paid through. And that'll be it. And uh, we don't want to see it happen. I don't want to see it happen. And let's hope it doesn't happen. But, uh, how the fuck am I going to get to? Uh, 600 bucks uh, plus uh, food, money, and everything else. Can someone tell me that? Anyone's got it? Anyone got it? Because I don't. I do not. So, let's see what's going to happen. And uh, no one wants to see the uh, mic on the streets. Uh, not even be able to beg or do anything like that kind of situation, buddies. That is a bad, bad, uh, you know, spiritual reality in all things. I could be useful in much more ways. Okay? Even as uh, somebody not requiring your time or attention. One of the things I keep reminding slavers about. That if you leave me alone, I'll just assume everyone's a dumbass idiot. And uh, anyone I talk to is going to be like an Ever or a Scott or a fucking Montrace or a fucking Rocco. And I'll just fucking, you know, avoid them like I did for years here. You know, there's only certain people we need to talk to. And I only talk to them, you know, as needed. And those people are exactly what you think they are. And I was good with them. And, you know, it just sucks that, uh, I still wonder, did they split? Were they killed? What happened? No. Maybe I'll never know. Maybe no one will ever know. Maybe they just, like we talked about with that shit. 